Hello, is everybody back? Hopefully. All right. So I, I think uh, a lot of you have gotten uh, pretty close to the answer, or uh, at least they have kind of the right uh, a procedure to, to start working on this. So uh, I, I'm going to start writing a short MATLAB code. And uh, uh, for, for those who already worked out the, um, the, the solution or the solution procedure, please uh, guide me through the process. All right. So wh what is the first thing I'm going to do to solve this problem if I, uh, if I want to compute uh, such a probability? What is the first uh, function or uh, you're going to write in MATLAB? The delta V or burn time distributions, maybe? OK, right. So one of the things we have to do is uh, if we use the Monte Carlo method we discussed the last lecture, that is computing a probability by sampling, right? We have to know how to sample the distributions. So one of the first thing to do is we can sample the distribution. So that's something we are definitely going to do. So uh, that's one of the blocks that is sample input distributions. OK, so that's something uh, we are going to do first. So let's say we write a code to sample both inputs, right? Delta V and T. What do we do next? Yeah, what is the next thing I do once I have the samples? Can multiply them to find the distance away from the asteroid that you would get. Um, right. So basically, if I have one sample, one pair of samples, right? So one delta v and one t, a solid number that I can uh, look at. Uh, what do I do with a pair of numbers? It's yeah. I have to combine them, but not to multiply them, right? Uh, I mean, if I just uh, multiply them, I get a delta V times T. I mean, it's a, it's a distance, but like it's actually not going to be the distance that I need to decelerate. Well, that'll give you like the first leg of the distance you travel. But if it's not the full 250 delta v that you need that you're gonna have to calculate the remaining distance you're gonna travel with the slower deceleration yeah right so basically uh i mean all of you i think uh, have uh are discussing details but like uh, the, the overall picture is right so is to figure out uh, deterministically so for each sample uh figure out out uh, whether we crash, right? So that's actually the second step. Uh, we may be, we may not, it's not as simple as uh, multiply the delta V by uh, the time and uh, figure out that's greater or less than uh, 10 kilometers, but like uh, it's gonna be a slightly more complex uh, procedure to figure out if the distance required to decelerate is greater or equal to the distance we have, right? So that's really uh, the second step. The result of the second step is for each sample, we're gonna produce a binary outcome, either crash or not crash, right? Okay, now in order to figure out the probability that we crash, what do we do next? Right, we sample the distribution, we have a bunch of samples, and uh, for each sample, we figure out we crash or not crash. How do we get the probability? Uh, 
Come on, anybody? It's just a some like a naive Monte Carlo. You can just <clears throat> take the number of crashes over the and divide it by the total number of simulations, and that would be your probability that you would crash. Yes, it's the number of crashes divided by the number of samples, right? That's a pretty naive Monte Carlo estimate. So that's what we are going to do. So we're going to write a code to sample the input distributions. We're going to write a code to figure out whether we crash or not. And then we'll divide the number of crashes by the number of total samples to estimate the crash probability. OK, so let's work on the first. Let's work on the samples. Uh, we are going to make a script. So first, uh, we are going to be basically reviewing how do we sample a triangular distribution, right? OK, so let's say delta v is going to be a triangular distribution. So let's set our n samples. Let's actually set it to be something pretty large. Let's use, let's say, uh, 100,000 samples. So uh, what's going to be my delta v? My delta v is going to be a triangular distribution. And uh, how do you suggest we sample a triangular distribution? Yes, how, how do we sample a triangular distribution? 